Hey everyone, how's it going today? We're going to jump right into it. We're going to get in our tutorial here. We're going to go to animations and we are going to create an attack animation with our character. We're going to grab this idle. We're going to control copy and we're going to paste it. The reason why is because it already has all our directions set up. So why not make it easier for us, right? So we're going to go here. We're going to name it sword attack. And we're going to go down to the downward direction and we're going to go to the first frame. We're going to change this to about six. We want it to wait about six frames. And then we are going to select the first frame of the attack. And then we're going to grab that and we're going to copy paste it. We're going to grab the second frame, copy paste, grab the third frame, copy paste, grab the fourth frame. So it actually is pretty easy to put these animations together once you get the gist and get the are, are in a, in the groove. You can also click this icon here to turn on and off the collisions and then you can click play here to view. You'll notice it's not looping because we have it on not looping. Um, it's one reason I grabbed it, it from idle was because walking is looping but we don't want sword attack to loop. So now that we're here, let's click back on the first frame of down and we'll, you'll see this, we got some keyframes. You can click and move this around or you can click above and it'll go there instantly. We don't really want the attack to start right there. Right there is where we want the attack detection to start. So we'll click on this under attack detection and we'll right click and we'll say add a keyframe. And the reason why we can't see it right now is because we have it on not showing the uh, the detections. So we'll click that button to turn it back on. We'll grab this and we'll size it just to, I'm not gonna get in, into specifics, like, you know, a perfect hitbox here, but something like that is gonna work for what we're doing. And then let's go see if it changes. Yep, it does change. So now let's click right here and let's add another keyframe and let's just move the box over like that. And now when you hit play, you'll see that the box moves with the animation and that's where the attack's gonna be. Now, one quick thing before we do the rest of these is you can actually add another attack line. So say you have a weird shaped weapon or you have a weird shaped attack and you want it, and a box just isn't gonna do it for you. It's just gonna be too wide in certain areas and it's, it's not gonna look right. You can actually make another attack detection. You can, let's just say we wanted it right here. You can insert it right here and then you can size it to say whatever shape it was. Say you had a scythe or something or something that looks like that. Um, yeah, so you could do that and these will both register as an attack on these frames. Now what I'm not sure is that if this could act as a specific attack. So if they're in this box, something happens. If they're in this box, something happens. I don't think that is the case, but that would be awesome if if it was just I haven't figured it out or, or I haven't seen anything about it yet. So let's delete that one because we don't need it. And you'll see this UI sometimes takes a little bit to update, which is fine because they're working on it. Okay, so now let's go to left. We got our down looking good. Let's go to left. Let's click the first frame. Six frame count. Let's click on the first left frame here. Let's grab it. Copy, paste. Second frame. Copy, paste. Third. Copy, paste. Four. And let's go to the second frame here. Let's click on this because we know it's going to be the second frame from now on. We'll add the keyframe. And let's just make a nice simple hit box. And then let's click on this one and he does move it up. So then let's move it up here like that. Let's click play, just make sure it looks pretty decent. That looks good. So now let's go to right. Again, six frame count. Click the right first animation, copy, paste, second, copy, paste, third, copy, paste, fourth. By now you are a pro at making these animations, I'm sure. Let's go to add a keyframe right here. We want to just add a simple 
simple, simple hitbox. Let's go right here, add a keyframe, move the hitbox up, maybe to the right, right there. Yeah, maybe up, okay. And then we'll swing, looks good. And then we'll go up, click the frame, six frame count, first attack, second, paste, third, paste, fourth. Click it just to make sure, yep. Now let's add keyframe. Keyframe here, oops. And about right there, yeah. And then we'll go right here, add a keyframe, and move it like that. There we go, all right. All right, so we got our attack frames done. Now we need to get the object linked to the attack. So let's go into objects here. And so right now we're just idling and walking when input is being pressed or input is not being pressed. So now let's add an action. Let's call this action sword swing or sword attack is what I named the motion or yep, the motion. We're gonna select sword attack we're not going to set the direction because we want the input to. What we are going to select are these two down here. We want to ignore movement input and we want to ignore direction change during this action. And now we need to link them. So we need to think about this for a second. Do we want the player to attack while he's in idle? Yes, we do. Do we want the player to attack while he's walking? Yes, we do. We want him to be able to respond to both of these. So we need to make a link from both of these to sort attack. So we'll make the link. And in the condition to go to this link, we will select that the following input has been pressed. And we'll just say OK. And we'll just make sure that it's pressed. The A button, OK. And that's really the only input that we need. Go to add link from the idle because we can get it from both and we're going to do the same thing following input a is pressed okay now there's going to be one thing that we need to change as well and that is the default controls come for the controller so you actually have to set up the keyboard so let's go to settings and project settings let's go to control key management and you'll see the keyboard mouse area, the A button that we selected, the control key name is blank. So we need to double click into there and we need we want it to be on the mouse and or the keyboard and the mouse. And right here it says click to configure. So click it and it says press a key. And I'm just gonna do space. And now it's set. And then you can hit OK. Hit OK. And now, when you press space, A will be cons considered pressed. So now we do our sword animation. And now we want to, let, well, let's test this out right now. So we've got two inputs going when we press space. So let's give it a test. And we're moving, we're walking, and we hit attack. And now we can't move anymore, and we cannot attack again. It's just frozen. And as you guessed, we have not given the way out. So from sword attack, where do we want to go after sword attack? Do we want to have a link back to idle and back to walking? Well, you could, but really you only need it back to idle because you're already stopped. You're already not changing directions or anything. So you might as well just restart to idle. And if you are holding down input, instantly go back into walking. So let's add a link to idle. You can see how these get kind of crazy, but you can make them work. It's actually not that bad, as bad as I thought it was going to be. And so we'll click on this. And the really cool thing about these conditions is there's one condition that says if motion animation plays to the end. And we can select that. And that literally means once this motion is done, granted, we that's one reason why we had to make sure looping wasn't on because then it would never be done. So since looping's not on, once this attack animation ends, now this condition's satisfied, it goes back to idle, and then if you're pressing input, you'll start walking. 
So let's try this. And let's walk and let's hit space and you attack and then you resume moving. Now let's go idle. You're attacking and you can instantly move after your attack. So we've got a little basic attack here. The hitboxes are set. We have nothing to do yet with them. And we will probably get to that on a next one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. It's either going to be smooth camera, changing opacity when you go behind something, or hitting an enemy. I've got a few more things I want to do before this trial ends. So we will go from there and talk to you guys later.